So I'm glad he went to Jesus' team where he'll be the undisputed starting player. That's very nice. And do we have a, a captain here to announce a pick? Yes, we do. Fez up. With the 80th pick, we're going to take Clutch. Clutch? Yep. So explain us. Uh, talk to us about that because I don't think any of us were expecting that. Uh, Clutch pick. I don't know. I th- I've seen him a lot in tryouts, and he's very active on Mumble for the past few days. He goes by Fort, man, actually. But I was really impressed by the way he plays, and I think like he can develop a lot. That's what's important to me. I took a lot of all the offense players I'm going to take aren't like necessarily the best on the board, but they are like they have really high ceilings. And playing with Lizard Wizard, you can probably reach your ceiling. And that's what's important to me. We were actually talking about that when you made your first offense pick, Juicy Juke. We said that he was going to be great at reaching a ceiling playing with Lizard Wizard. Yeah, for sure. I mean, even if he doesn't, he isn't as good as we want, but we can definitely see Clutch be in the major spot soon. We It's just all about having options. But anyway, who's, so who's how do you the guys? How do you guys feel about the team so far? Oh, I'm really happy with... Uh, <clears throat> we got time, which I was really happy with because we got a really experienced defender... And when you have Lizard Wizard, you just got to keep the flag in base so, you know, he can cap it. And, yeah, I value uh, experience on defense a lot, which we didn't have last season. Was there anyone that you felt like got sniped from you? Uh, yeah, Arby Bear, yeah. but I could have never we gotten have him. We have a pick. Exile takes Pretty Boy Swa. Pretty Boy Swa. Hey, you have that checkmate on the wrong team on your draft bracket. Oh, good. He was pissed off he got taken. Who's he supposed to be to? Um, he's over on a, a capitalist. Did I miss him by a couple spots? Yes, I did. Got Ginseng really sold the farm to get Slide and Private Major, though. Yeah. He's gonna, I mean, he definitely went down a little bit to go for that. And it's definitely the uh, the oldest squad. Mm-hmm. When, when you say oldest, what's uh, the average age, you think? Well, I'm not so much squad oldest, but like I'm looking here and like the newest Tag Pro player started season two on, our, oh, on that God. team. Is that like the yeah. dust push? First yeah, push? Sh- I think anal shipment... And Jinsing yeah. and I were each season one. Uh, well, you guys are all web games, so I'd assume so, yeah. Yeah, and then Felix came season two. So I wonder if he's going to stay. I've uh, not talked to Jinsing since I got drafted by him, so I'm wondering if he's going to stick with that strategy and go for older guys, or if that just like happened to be who he was interested in. I can see some risk in taking some of the older guys. Right. Just because oh, uh, sure, of the sure. dr- drop-off. Yeah, swing. Um, Here you go. All caps take. Hold the cat. I don't know much about Little Cat. What do you think, Evola? Uh, he's really good. We wanted to pick him up in a later round, but it looks like we're not going to be able to. I would say that's a fair assessment. Uh, I would say that's a fair assessment. I think that we were hoping to reach and get him in round seven, and we weren't able to, obviously. Man, the KG Ballers have a strong squad here. They're coming up next. They've got um, they're going to be having Stalin and Tizza on offense, and then they're going to have their choice between Bali Mendias, Raven, and I'm High on defense. Other and, way around, uh, I'm High is playing offense, Tizza is playing defense. Aha. Uh-huh. Well, they're good. Sorry, buddy. So, we're sticking by that. Yes, I agree. This is good. They can do. Uh, they they could be risky here. It doesn't really matter because they squad set. I mean, they've already they've already been drafting into their uh, into their minor league team already. You can't really theorize who here who they might pick. There's. I mean, it's getting to that point in the draft where they could go for anybody. I could even yeah, see them going for somebody like Sneak because you know he's going to be really good for half the season. Yeah, well, I mean, Sneak's only going to be around for four weeks, so it's still... How far down does he pick. go? 
Uh, I, I said sixth round in my analysis, and I will stick to that. He's a smart sixth round pick, but no earlier than that. And how far down does people like, um, I mean, I know I've rated him higher here, but people like the Abbott and people like Spongeball, I think, dropped pretty far low. Spongeball's got to go soon. Spongeball and the, uh, the Abbott were two people that I was poaching for Jay Gibbs to pick in his last fifth round pick there, but he ended up taking offense, so there's not much I could do about that. It's taking a while. I mean, I'm looking at this roster. I wouldn't mind being drafted right here. Is that what you you'd be okay with that? I'd be I'd be okay playing for uh yeah Stalin and Bali. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think I I think I'd be okay with that if I was in your shoes too. How do you guys uh, feel about your respective teams so far? I'm uh I'm really excited. I've talked my to team's gonna be my team's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, it was, uh, there was uh, only a couple teams I really wanted to play on, and this team and Jinzing was one of them. And I talked to him a little bit beforehand about joining his team if I dropped that far. So uh, uh, we were excited to play together. And really excited for Felix. Really just started tanking his draft stock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys don't pick again for a while, do you? No, uh, we pick soon. Uh, we have the next. We have a pick really quicker. I think. Yes. I'm really, really, really excited to play defense with Felix. So do you get? Do you think you guys are gonna bring back the old guard and show everybody that the new guys aren't necessarily the best? I I'm I don't know about that statement, but I just know that I feel like I'm gonna have fun playing with Felix on defense. That's definitely somebody that I've always I've always wanted to play with, and I've always got the feeling like I'm never gonna to get to play with him. We always feeling. feel like we'd be you know either captains the, or kind of first round dish picks. The, the so. feeling. The feline <laughs> thing. Come yeah, who's up, baby? Uh, KD Ballers take JC Money. JC Money. The KD Ballers. JC Money. Again, I feel bad that I don't really know this player. Uh, he was a minor league player that had like 9 gasp. Pretty good. Pretty good player. Not going to lie. He had a 9 gasp? On a 9 o gasp, yep. Pretty yeah, solid. Did. Pretty solid. He looks like he got a 7.19. Um, oh. I don't believe you. Eagles is here to make a pick. Hi, how's it going, guys? Uh, we're doing good, Eagles. How you doing? You uh, sound like you're... Good. You sound muffled. Eagles, oh, no. tell us about your pick, baby. Okay, who do you think it is? We have no uh, idea at this point. Not Lord. I hope it's not Lord. <laughs> no, it's not It's Devil. I hope it's Devil. Oh, you're close. I'm gonna pick Hype and the home. Wow, it was close. You're going to your oh, no. Yeah. Hyper no. I figure yeah, it's no. been long enough, so we need another Euro. I appreciate it. <laughs> so Do what? You know tell to, have, talk have, us through have, the, the Euro strat. What? Talk us through the, the strategy of taking Euro. Well, Deadman is just really, really, really good, so I had to pick him. That's my Euro strat. Um, do you know that he's planning on playing offense this season? Yeah, that's fine. He's oh, the winning okay. the winning captain or ELTP, so yeah, but he knows, what, he knows what he's doing. In the <laughs> no, he didn't. He's fine. I was on his team last season, so I know you were. And he played defense. Yep, he did. He's very good at offense, so oh, good. So we've got the Portland Tile Blazers up next, and they have some. I mean, there's some key, clear gaps here. With I gotta think they're going to double bananas. I know that Reckon's really high on him. He played on his team for a couple seasons early on in Tag Pro. Um, and, uh, I gotta think it's happening. I gotta say, holy shit, did they sell the farm to get Bully Llama? I mean, they haven't picked since literally the first pick tonight, and now it's round five. But their team's good, I think. I think it's, um, Dale could easily step in here, and, and if they get a player here that, could, that they think could start, then I think they're solid. You gotta think they almost pulled the NOS here. Um, where is their minor leagues team? Yeah, that's the problem. I almost feel like they might not care. I'm 100% sure Dick Lurker doesn't care. Which is Primal. very unfortunate. Whether his name is Primal or Lemon Pledge, he's a Dick Lurker to me. You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> uh, good times. 
We're taking forever. Who do you think they're going for? I mean, they had forever to think about this one. What if they pick BDL here? Would you really be surprised? Not at all. Uh, he's great. I mean, he's the top guy on the draft packet still. He's yeah, by far. And second is Dole, actually. I'm going to say it's going to be one of the two. I think you ready? Right. Yeah. Uh, Tile Blazers take Metetrix. Who? Oh, or they could do that. Matrix. Okay. Yeah, he's California. I can't believe we didn't talk about him. Uh, well, he he was one of my top picks. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't believe we just forgot about him in that group we were talking about. That should yeah, have totally hey. been one of the options from California. Yeah, definitely. But hey. Yeah, you guys mentioned him a while ago. We basically guessed that one right. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Oh, I mean, we both did. I mean, he's high up on the draft packet. He was, yeah, no, I think, got... number one or two on two of my lists. I mean. Yeah. No, we predicted that. We got that. Yeah. We got we got Matrix for sure. And now we're not going to get who Sir Dan's going to pick. Sir Dan. Sir Dan. What is Sir Dan going to pick? I don't know. Let me look at his team. Um, we've got Sir Dan with. Train, a... Jizz, and Grief Seeds. <laughs> oh, JJZ. No, JJ. They're going to pick Poppy. Uh... <laughs> it's going to be Poppy. Mark oh, the pick is in. Uh, Sir Dan selects Squiggly 10. Oh. Uh, oh. That was close. And, and people oh. are uh, going into the rookie board now. What's his name? Oh, that one. The bunch of wiggly lines. Squiggly. Squiggly 10. He's got 10 squigglies. Is, um, is Pyrus still on the board? No. Pyrus got picked in about oh, the second right. round to watch it, bro. So who's the top uh, rookie you have available? I think most of these guys are gone, actually. Top rookie is Sneak. BDL. BDL. Oh, BDL. You're right. I think BDL is going to get picked before tonight's over. I also think Straight Ball is going to get picked before tonight's over. And I, I, think think rough, are... I think Rough Justice and Straight Ball too, yeah. RJ is not going to get taken tonight. Calling it right now. Because of Centro? Yeah, basically. No Centro left, I don't think. Yeah, no Centro left. Oh, PBP. So which of those Centro players is PBP? PBP gonna take them? Are they gonna take BDL or are they gonna take? Are they gonna take Rough Justice? BDL. I think I think if it's one of the two, I think it'll be uh, I think it'll be Rough Justice. I can see Teddy defaulting to the highest guy here. Can you? I, I mean, he is your pro to Jay, so I will defer <laughs> to you on this one. No, I, I could just see him. I've uh, seen him hype there and we want to play. Well, we, and, we and do the have thing a is, pick. He's definitely played with them a lot because they play late night together. So, you know, what's up, baby? Uh, KG Ballers to SpongeBob. Yeah, there it goes. That's... He could, he, I would argue that he dropped. He dropped but... well enough so that he's worth the pick for sure. Yeah. Welcome me. Did they draft it tonight? Uh, yeah, Chauncey has taken Sundown and Clovis. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're deep into their squad already. So, do you think they're going to take Giancat here? No, they can get him later. But you never know. Correct? If it's I not Giancat, who, who are you feeling, PM? Do you really know? Do, do you really ever know? Um, If it's not Giancat, and I don't think it's Giancat, I think we're looking at maybe Catalyst? Maybe the Abbott. I think Rabbit. Rabbit? No, the Abbott. And putting the Abbott the, on minor league is a travesty. And if you play on the minor league, he'll be really good, I think. How accurate was uh, your big board, by the way, for uh, rounds three and four? It's been doing pretty good. We've been crossing off a lot of high players. Who are, uh, if you guys had to say, who are like the, some of the best uh, defenders that are still available? I'd be giving up um, information. Any sort of semblance of secrecy if I knew. Um, you're at here. Um, yeah. Bola, no one's listening. You can tell us everything you, that. Um, uh, yeah, your I'm totally telling our draft stats right now. Wait, is, is your at here really still available? Yes. Yeah, then I think he's probably the best like, in raw talent in the world still. Well, then you better tell uh, Ginseng to go pick him because it's Ginseng's pick now, and you're kind of on his team, and he's kind of available. 
Yeah, you might actually have uh, some real input here. 